Good morning. It's 1.45 in the morning, actually. I've got itchy nose, hang on, and an itchy head. I, it, it's a problem with having skin complaints, you itch all the time. Um, when I say skin complaints, I've got skin condition. Thanks to Dad. Well, you know I've got psoriasis, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Can't be helped, it's a, a genetic condition. And it's a dominant gene, and because Dad's got it, he's pretty much passed it down to all of us. Anyway, I'm waiting for a video to upload to YouTube. So I pretty much decided to start um, Friday's video. Now, uh, I have been a bit busy. Well, you know I've done the BMX over here. Tyre's still holding air, so that's a good thing. I've just got to adjust the brakes and oil the chain, and that's about it. That's ready to go back to its owner. Um, this wheel... Um, the story behind that is... If I just bring this up... Here's a photo I made earlier. <laughs> this bike I got off Biggles, I think, last year. Uh, this was posted 9th of March last year, so yeah, about a year ago I got the bike. Um, and it's a 1980s, I believe, rally. It's not really a mountain bike, I'm not sure what you'd call it. Um, but it had, obviously, most of the parts off of it. The mud guards, are, no, the mud guards were knackered. He had the cantilever brakes. Um, and the brake levers and the gear shifters, the stem and the handlebar, he had all that and sold it, and I think the seat post. Um, so I took what was left because I, I like that frame. It's a bit rough, but I like the frame. Um, so what I did, I replaced the tars because naturally it had been sitting outside for quite some time, so they were knackered. The chain was knackered, replaced that. Replaced all the cables, replaced the cantilever brakes, ended up putting an odd pair on the back because this one threaded the pinch bolt. Um, replaced the gear shifters and brake levers. Most of it I replaced with as close to match as I could with the original. Um, you know, or as close as I could get. They're the closest I had for the mudguards, so... Well, mudguards probably didn't come with the bike originally, so... But yeah. But the problem with the back wheel, when I was riding it, I could feel and hear it creaking and groaning because of the spokes. So I inspected the spokes and found that a lot of them were actually loose. I could wobble them around. So I thought I could tighten some up. So I tried to tighten some up with a spoke key and it ended up snapping them. So I thought, right, we've got a problem here. These spokes are knackered. And I thought, I want to keep the original rims because the rims are perfectly fine. Now, I can't build wheels, but I can replace spokes. So what I've done, I've been going through that wheel using an old bike wheel as a donor wheel. I had a slight buckle in it, I could have straightened it, but I can't really be asked to straighten wheels. Not with how many I get from down the tip, it's not worth it. And I actually see the rim is damaged from here. You see all those deep gouges in it. So, I took the spokes out and went through this one by one, replacing the spokes, checking the wheel, to make sure I hadn't knocked it, you know, buckled it, because they can go out of alignment if you do that and uh, yeah I think I've done enough to make it stronger at least the only thing I can do is put it on the bike and try it was a 15 speed originally and I fitted one two three four five six a six speed freewheel didn't have to I just felt like upgrading it a little bit um, the gear shifters and the old gear lever type, as you can see, but it doesn't click into individual gears. There's no click mechanism. It works just like left-hand gear lever, you know, or an old, you know, the old 
racing bike gear levers, uh, which is fine. I like to keep it, well, original style as possible. It may not be an exact match for the parts that came off, but I've used the same type at least. Um, but what I'm going to do is change the um, V-brake set for a uh, a better set because I have got better sets deliberately kept but I've got too many projects going at the minute I've got my second Claude and my Giant that's uh, two two bikes to go in at the moment I'll get those done uh, well I suppose if the weather's fine tomorrow I could go downstairs and start on this and do it outside Instead of drag it upstairs, I think I've got enough bikes upstairs as it is. Well, right, that old back wheel I kept hold of because uh, what may have wanted to salvage spokes from that one as well. It's a good straight wheel, but it's damaged. There's a lot of damage to the black paint, and the free wheel is pretty stiff and the hub is pretty rusty so I don't even know why I kept it to be honest. Right, keep the camera off the window because uh, I'm only in shirt boxes and socks so I'm pretty certain you don't want to see that. But I'm actually pleased these tyres these are holding air. So, with a bit of TLC. You know, a bit of TLC and a like I said, the most expensive part I'm going to need for this is the bottom bracket. I could actually do fix this one up at the same time I do the Claude, actually. I've got a replacement front derailleur. Someone's jammed it in top gear. They've done the adjustment screws all the way in. So it won't retract. That's why it's stuck up there with the cable flailing around. I'm going to put all new cables on it. Uh... Probably new brake noodles. I sort of started to give the frame a clean, at least on the underside. I just haven't done this side. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. I lost track. Lost the thread of what I was thinking. Oh yeah, might. I'm going to sit on the bike, but I may have to nip. <laughs> maybe a centimetre or two off that seat post because that's as low as it will go because it butts against the um, screw here because it's quite a long seat post it's not meant for a short or a low frame like this but uh, yeah I do like that blue frame it's in good condition let's see where some is it? No, most of that is actually dirt it's not as bad as I thought. I could see all that some scratching there. That'll probably be where the outers have rubbed. You can't avoid it. They're always going to rub. Uh, so any marks like that, I would personally class just as general wear because you can have your outer cable plug in there and it'll just come past and go up to the handlebar. And whenever you turn, it just eventually rubs and wears a little mark in the paintwork. There's uh, loads of bikes that do it, especially mountain bikes. Anyway, I need to sand that shoulder down and paint that up. Give the whole thing a good clean. When I'm at it with a tin of paint, I'll go right... Ooh, that's loose. <laughs> that's not meant to be loose. I may even add... I don't know. And I'll just sl slap some black paint around it, that'll do. Yeah, what tyres did I put on this? Put them uh, mountain bike thingy bob tyres on them. I was going to change the seat, but I'll see if my ass likes that seat first. It's a muddy fox, it's got a little bit of a damage there, but that'll do. Right. Ah, new handlebar grips, so that was the other one. Uh, that's going to cost me about six pounds because I'll, I'll need two pairs. I don't tend to come across many bikes that have these, especially the full length ones. 
because so many bikes have grip shifts so these are always shorter so uh, I don't actually I'm not never able to save full length uh, handlebar grips well it don't matter they're only three pounds for a half decent pair so I'll grab a couple of them I'm not fussy as long as I just better to, anything is better to hold on to than a bare metal bar I think that's going to be a really sweet bike when that's done definitely not one that's going to be for sale definitely not I've got yeah seven speed freewheel on there right I'm just over my time limit for this segment so I'm actually getting tired so I hope that video isn't going to take much longer to upload uh, so next time you see me it will be daylight not sure what time probably around about ugh, 10 11 o'clock whenever I decide to drag my ass out of bed no idea what I'm going to have for breakfast yet either <laughs> anyway I'll talk to you all on the light side well it's daylight <laughs> um, I've actually been awake since about 10 o'clock actually it was just after 10 o'clock I think I woke up because our fire engine went out and pretty much said get out of bed so it's now 12.30 I've got someone coming at two o'clock to look at that lady's bike so hopefully that will go uh, in the meantime I'm gonna go downstairs at about one o'clock take the BMX down just get that oiled up and I'm gonna take this wheel down as well I've put the reflector back on I've actually noticed I've done pretty well there's only four original spokes left in this wheel it's uh, these two, and pretty much two opposite here as well. They're the only four I haven't. The rest have all been replaced. Um, so that is definitely a lot sturdier and rigid than it was. So I'm going to give that a whirl back in the bike. And I'm actually, I know I said I wasn't going to do it yet, but I am pretty eager to get that in. So I think. I think I'll have to uh, drag that bicycle out. Uh, what I'll do, I'll do the wheel swap down there. Uh, and I might do the brakes while I'm at it. Seeing as the uh, pot of brakes is down there as well. Wheel is being awkward. I just want to put the free wheel back on. Now when I put free wheels on, I always use the um, extractor because it actually holds the wheel dead level so if you haven't, you haven't got to try and uh, get this on without cross-threading it because it is awkward. There we go, that's done. I'll find a couple of wheel nuts to put on that. And uh, I can come downstairs with me. It's not the original wheel reflector, I think the original one if I remember correctly broke as well. The front wheel still got the original one on. Yes, so that's going to be coming oh, out of the shed later. I've let the um, guy know that the bike will be ready by tomorrow at least. I don't know if uh, Mum's going to be up after work either, so... Oh yeah, for some reason I had it in my head that the ladies' bike was still round back. <laughs> you know, there's a couple more wheels on the trailer. 24-inch wheel right there, actually, that white rim one. Hang on. Zoom in. Yeah, that one. Yeah, and rented dick that drives that silver car right there. It's still skidding around on the car park at quarter to seven in the mornings. 
wouldn't be so bad if it was just like once in a blue moon. But this is every fucking morning and it has woken me up several times. So I think uh, I'm right to actually file the complaint because it's not necessary. He doesn't do it during the day. And no one else that um, arrives on the car park after him. And not long after him, actually. Actually, one of the cars isn't there. But there's that mole catcher car that I've showed you. He turns up about 10 to 7. There's a yellow car that turns up round about the same time. None of them do it. Not even the ones going... Them who drive a car to the, deliver papers or help deliver the newspapers if it's raining. So, uh, oh yeah, I never showed you, did I? Let the skip bloody skin tag fell off at last. Oh, that really was getting on my tits, that thing was. You just imagine, you're sort of trying to do, look around just, you know, normally like this, and all you can see is this little thing right in the line of your vision. And then if it's windy, you can just see it doing that in the line of your vision. And oh, A good way to get rid of them. Twist them. That's what I did with mine. I kept twisting it. And giving it a little pull every now and again, and I just woke up one morning and it had disappeared, so... <laughs> good riddance. Right, I better shut the camera off, get my boots on, put my belt on, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't remember if I put the belt on my jeans or not. I don't think I should uh, wear those jeans for another day, they've gotten quite filthy. I'm finding oh, these because I had to cut the old spokes out of the wheel because these um, little spoke nipples are actually seized onto the spokes. So I couldn't adjust the spokes anyway. So it would have been a case of scrap the wheel. And I like the wheels. It was one of the few original parts the bike had. Or replace the spokes. So I just went through and replaced all the spokes one by one. Making sure to um, tighten all the spokes evenly. What did I put them in? and screw them up till they just pulled tight and then once I'd done a few I'd go round the wheel and like give them each half a turn until they got tight enough and then I'd do some more and do the same thing that way um, I kept the wheel nice and straight because if you um, have more tension on one spoke and not the others you're going to buckle the wheel and then you've got to sit there and try and straighten the wheel out and yeah, yeah. It's a palaver. <laughs> um, oh, I better put some tape around that rim. I've got, an old, I've got the original rim tape on the floor. And I've got a replacement one here. No, nope, that one's a broken one. That's for the bin. Uh, but I think I'll put some PVC tape around. That's my cheat. Because that's quite a wide rim. Look at it. <laughs> that is, when you compare it to... A sort of more modern mountain bike rim like this one. You see this width difference? <clears throat> That's the other reason I wanted to save them because I think they were worth saving. Right. Less jibber jabbering and uh, more worky, I think. Mm, I'm knackered already. <laughs> Well, that lady's bike was too big for her. Um, I think what she needs is one of those bikes where um, proper old-fashioned lady style of bike where you can step through the frame and not have to swing your leg over it. Uh, I think that's what she'd be better off looking for. And I don't get many of that style in, unfortunately if any at all. Um, anyway, I got those wheels back in the old rally. Rides like a dream now. I could hear a noise coming from the back wheel, but I don't think that was spoke noise. That sounded more like gear noise. But uh, yeah, that's done. Oh, 
so I've got shitloads of bikes out the back. I better go put those away shortly. But I want to sort of like uh, get a photo of them. Um, while they're out. In fact, I may do that. And I may add a video clip in with this as well. Where's my still camera? There it is. Uh, anyway, someone has messaged me again interested in the ladies bike and wants to collect tomorrow. They asked if I'd take 20 quid. Yeah, I'll take 20 quid. <clears throat> it's better than a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Uh, it's in full working order. <laughs> BMX is done. Oh, hello. <laughs> I got an eight legged friend on the ceiling. I have to say, he's a new one. Not seen one like him before. He's not a house spider. Actually, I'm not sure that is a spider because I only see six legs. <laughs> How many do you see? Oh, no. There is eight legs. Hmm. Never seen one like that before. Oh, he can stay. He's up there out of my way. As long as he stays up there out of my way. <laughs> right. What the hell was I going to do? What was I talking about before that spider interrupted me? Oh, I can't remember. Oh yes, yeah, someone wants to collect that bike tomorrow morning. I'll just ask them what sort of time. I'll send my address. Someone else has replied about the man's one I've got out back. Uh, my green Rally Max, I've changed the saddle on. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to change the saddle again on the um, grey Rally, because... Uh, I forgot I wanted that Apollo seat for the um, uh, thingamajig, Claude Butler that I've got up here. Um, so the seat that came off my Rally Max can go on there. It's actually quite comfortable, those Apollo seats. Did these tyres hold air overnight? That one did. That one did. Good. Oh crap, I keep forgetting to bring that sandpaper up. If I bring the sandpaper up, I could get that painted. And that's a job done. In fact, I'm going to have a go at extracting the um, crank on this as well in the bottom bracket. Might as well before I actually start buying replacement parts, because obviously if I can't get any of that off, then the... Pardon me, the bike's pretty much a write-off. But I do hope that's not the case. Right, I'm going to disappear downstairs again, and uh, yeah, I'll take you down and, uh, and show you <laughs> what the shed looks like now, I suppose, so see you in a minute.
Mm, this takes a few to focus when I take the um, um, thingy shutter off for the um, lens, lens cover. Um, just been contacted via eBay. Someone's uh, inquiring about that gents rally bike. And, uh, well, at least you sit in the shed at the minute. And my collection of bicycles. Alright, I'm wondering what I'm doing. I'm just having a sort out. <laughs> um, making a bit of room up here. And these pedals I'm going to put on my Claude, because I prefer those pedals. Uh, Turles. PC is sitting on the Lego, that ain't very clever. But I can't move the damn thing now. Right. What's this lot? Is it keep stuff? Let's keep stuff. Lay that on there. Yeah, my next task is going to be. Sort this out. It seems as my brother no longer wants it. He's given up on it. I'll uh, have a play with it. Uh, I need to get it on its side because I need to get that motherboard out of there. Just moving all the bike bits. Some light would be useful, wouldn't it? There we go. Well, I could use this if I really wanted to, but I can't actually get that in my PC. So, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Right, so we need to go through and unplug all the necessary crap from this. Uh, Actually, I don't actually know which motherboard I'm going to use. It's weird. This doesn't have a power LED. Unless... Unless that's what that LED is meant to be for, but that didn't have... a thing connector on it. One of these. Alright, 12 volt supply. Rear USBs, front audio. If I use that gigabyte motherboard, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna um, I can't fucking remember. Oh yeah, that was it. I'm gonna um, just note down its model number. Oh, there it is, it's under there. I was just looking around for the bloody thing. I was like, where did I put it? Oh, God, I've got to run. Someone's replied to... <laughs> About 11am. I'm going to reply to that and just give him my address before I forget. And bear with me a second. When Yahoo wakes up. if I actually uh, spell the address correctly. I want my arrow, I want my cursor works as well. number of people that keep assuming I'm in Norwich. Well, but then again, I don't really blame them. Um, 
just for the simple reason it's not really their fault for some reason um, Gumtree sets my default location as Norwich <laughs> I don't know why freaking annoying because obviously that people only think to look at the default location and not what I've actually written in the ad and think I'm in Norwich when I'm not but I don't know why uh, keeps doing that I've got to transplant a motherboard if the other if the motherboard I've got in there is AMD then I'm probably gonna leave it or possibly consider changing the processor over and uh, yeah this one's a Kanaka board unfortunately <sighs> last screw no, it isn't. I've got one more. Glad I saw that. So much easier with a magnetic screwdriver to get these screws. Just don't stick it near the hard drive. Right. So in theory, that board should just slide straight out. Like so. So the next task is to pull that out again. Poor thing. I've got to find a better um, Ethernet cable, I think, because the um, clip is broken on the connector uh, on the end that goes into that piece. I think it's broken on both ends, actually. Stupid bloody connectors are always breaking. Right. The best thing is, that's literally all I need. <laughs> Put the motherboard in. It would be a lot easier if I could just, you know, drop the motherboard in this one straight into it, but where's the fun in that? Ugh. Unplug that, unplug that, pull out those, unplug that, there we go. Job's done, I can drag this over here and lay on the floor. Maybe an AMD in there. <laughs> Took the screw off the screwdriver and forgot to keep hold of the screwdriver. Duh. That looks rather like an AMD heatsink through that vent. So, like I said, if it is, I'll probably uh, just. Transplant it. I do believe it is looking at that. No idea what I'll do with this case. No idea whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to pinch the light up fan off of that as well. That can go on the top. <laughs> so I have one in the front, one in the top. No point to put one in the back because, uh, well, can't see a damn thing anyway, can you? So I'll just leave that one in the bag. Right. Oh. Thought I'd been um, chatting away for a lot longer than eight minutes. Right. Do I use the Corsair RAM? Um... Hmm. See, that one's got the big heat sink on it as well. Let's have a look. I'll pull up, well, I'll, do, I'll turn the camera off, pull that other board out, and we'll have a look, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Well, I've been playing around with uh, computers, and my ATI graphics card there won't work on that one either. Onboard video does work on this one, though, but. Um, when I plug in that video card, 
usually when you plug a video card in it cancels out the onboard graphics but this one didn't unless newer motherboards don't I, I don't know it's just in my experience usually when you put the video card in it cancels out the onboard mother um, onboard video so you can't use both together but uh, it didn't because I left it plugged in the video card plugged in plugged the VGA on uh, the um, VGA connect on the board and got signal out so yeah not quite sure what's going on there anyway so just to check the video card I temporarily stuck the original green board in yeah. um, put the video card in worked so I started putting in screws then realized I hadn't put the bloody I.O. plate back on, have I? And now I can't find said bloody I.O. plate. It's around here somewhere. Then again, it took me ages to find the bloody um, thermal paste as well. It was in that box for some reason. Um, I was going to change the rear fan for some reason, but I can't remember what. Oh yeah, that was why. Because I took the illuminated fan off the front of this one, but realised um, afterwards I'd bodged an adapter on. So uh, I can use that. I had a ha <laughs> back in the day. I had a habit of uh, bodging things together like that in computers. Never had one fail though. So, uh, would it actually be classed as a bodge? You tell me. <laughs> I suppose technically, because it was slapped together, but... Oh, do I have... Frickin'... That's the one... to this one, which actually just happened to be laying on the top of my box. And I would have thought... If I'd stuck the other one... I did take it out of the case, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I would have thought if um, I wasn't sure I hadn't done anything daft and put the PC on top. And I had to straighten out the pins on that processor because somehow, just from me taking it out from there and walking over there with it, because I was going to Google them, and then I realised that the processor on the board in the PC doesn't fit this socket anyway, they're different. I managed to bend a pin. I'm not sure how. <laughs> that did piss me off a little bit. Right, so I'm actually wondering. Seeing as the ATI motherboard um, video card, I keep getting the things muddled up now. Seeing as the ATI video card didn't work in this one and didn't work in that one. Is it that these motherboards are not liking the video card? Should I try another one? Should I get an adapter and try Mr. Big Boy down there with a DDR5 memory on it? I so wish that bastard would fit in mine, but it won't. Yeah. Well, to use it, I'm going to have to get an adapter anyway, so it's not going to hurt, is it? What did I do with that frickin' I.O. plate? Hidden it under there, have I? Nope. Can't be far... Uh, there it is. All the way over here for some reason. <sighs> I was getting a bit stressy, so I had to go sit at the PC and de-stress. <laughs> it's uh, not a good idea to work on things when you're in a stressed mood, especially PCs. That stupid tab off out of the way. Right, yeah, that's the I.O. plate that's got to go on there. Um, I've got two people booked to look at two different bikes tomorrow. I just hope they buy at least one. I buy at least one item to well if they buy both I can take a trip down to the recycling centre tomorrow. Um Sunday, should I go to Mum's I'll 
if mum rings tonight, I will, uh, I will, uh, talk to her about it, anyway. Uh, yeah. So, glad I only got three screws. And how the fuck am I supposed to get that screw in down there? Look, it's right underneath the bloody memory tab. No, actually, I can do it, I've just realised, but I'll need my stubby, my little stubby screwdriver. Oops. I can only put three screws in anyway, yeah. I've got to that. I put two screws in, just to keep the board steady while I did the test. And, uh, threw one on the floor. I then went to put that one in under there. Where's my little stubby one? I can't see it. I won't use it for anything, so I can't. Ow. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. I remembered eventually where I put it. It's the only way I think. I'm going to get in here. Yeah, it is. I'm get under there with that. Oh. And it's magnetic to a point. <laughs> All right. Perhaps I should have took the cables off first, numb nuts. Hang on. Need two hands. Because none that's here forgot to take the cables off first. Right. Oh, none that's also forgot to uh, undo a screw. I'm not going to turn you towards me because I'm, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. Don't know. May not bother some people, but you never know. Right. IO shield in. Doing this upside down, which don't help. <laughs> this is really being a butt pain at getting in here. It does not want to go in. Get in. Bastard. There we go. Put me board in. Let me put it in round the wrong way. Ain't gonna work round the wrong way, is it? Right, are we in? No cables trapped under it, is there? Because I've done that before now. <laughs> I'm just stick my screws in. to move the board just a smidge. Right. And get all the screws in. I don't really think it would have made much difference between this board and the gigabit board anyway. Gigabyte board rather. I'm gonna I'll just take DDR2 memory. Uh, they're both AMD processors. Of a certain type, dual core processors as well. Although I can't remember the speed of the one in here. Right, I need two screws. I know one's on the floor somewhere because I dropped the bloody thing. One. Oh, I drop the other one. There he is. Come here, Mr. Stubbs. I'll move you all and get the, move the camera again in a minute. I've got a bloody speech problem again tonight. Well, I'm hoping um, at least one of the bikes will sell because uh, otherwise I'm broke <laughs> till Thursday. Why won't that screw do up nice and tight? Well, it's close enough. I'll stop the board moving anyway. Right. 
I can uh, pick you guys up. La -da -da -da. This bloody little end one won't stay clipped onto the rest of the plug, so because this is designed to be universal on the boards, you know, 20 pin or 24 pin. So if you only needed a 20 pin connector, you'd leave this disconnected. But this is a 24 pin connector on the board, so I've got to connect that. 12 volt. Which I believe this is the processor power. Because I know the PC wouldn't work without it. I'm going to just trail that somewhere there for now. I suppose I should do the video card last because I've got this needs to go on first. And it's got to go down here. That video card would definitely get in the way of that. I've got three card read um, USB headers here and three white ones. Are they labelled USB 1, 2 and 3 or does it not? No, it's not freaking loud, does it? They're all going to work anyway. I'll put the card reader on the front header. Uh, so this one's going to be front USB. And just for the sheer hell of it, I'm going to put two extra in the back. <laughs> That's because they're, they're behind me laying on the floor. So I couldn't do that with the gigabit motherboard either, because uh, um, it's only got the two headers. Okay, I do believe the only, one, only cables I've got left are these two SATA cables, which is hard drive and ROM drive, or DVD drive. And header cables and I think it's power switch I don't know why I'm connecting the reset switch I never use it but I guess it's just because it's there and I think it's a big thing but I think that one's a uh, Hard drive, LED, right, hmm, yeah, I'll put the original memory back in, because I know the system all works with this, so, I have already swapped the hard drive, it's already been done, so I'm just going to stick this in, just dropped it, <laughs> it's really useful dropping it, let's try again. But well, it would have been useful dropping it. Because I could have, uh, well, if it dropped in the correct place, it would have been useful. Right, that's got to go under all these cables. Like so. I suppose I've got a bung a screw in there just to hold it in place. A little bit out of shot, ever so slightly, but do you really want to see me put a screw in? Here we go. Um, oh, it bloody would be down there, wouldn't it? Is it going to be long enough? But if I go over the video card, will it be long enough? Just. <laughs> Literally just right. Connecting that. I've got a keyboard here. Um, that's not good. Because all LED lights are on on the front. 
<laughs> well, so, yeah, all of them are, so there's, um, there's uh, something amiss here. We'll just see if it works. It took a while to um, kick in last time. Yeah, we're booting. Okay. One of the green lights have gone off. See so if we can get Windows to boot. Didn't want to boot last time. Keeps wanting to go into um, repair. I don't want to go into repair, I want to work. luck this time. Grab the camera. Hopefully. In its own time, maybe. Yeah, that's exhausting. Yeah, just checking I got the fans around the right way. I do believe it's actually going to boot this time. The mouse isn't going to work because I haven't connected it. <laughs> Oops. So I'm not sure how I'm going to shut it down yet. Yay, yeah, it has booted. Woo! I didn't want to boot last time. Oh, I really did not like that other motherboard. Might might like it if I actually, you know, started fresh. Right. Well, the last job I've got to do is uh, install this one. Which, uh, it's just going to sit up here. Somewhere. I'll just whack screws in and get it screwed up there somehow. <sighs> right. Oh yes. Whack in one of these as well, haven't I? Then I'm then it's done. There we go. Whack screw into that and this job is done. I've got spare Molex connector down there somewhere, haven't I? Yeah, somewhere. I'll find one. Don't think I've got a USB mouse so I can just throw on that either. Not at hand, anyway. That's it, you rev it up, boy. Installing device driver software. What the hell are you installing? Right, well I'm going to shut the camera off, that's it for today I think. I can't remember if I showed you this, come on the wheel of the giant. Mmm, <laughs> psychedelic. I actually thought at first, when I, you know, on the wheel, I thought it was just a white reflector, but when I actually got down to it and cleaned the wheel, I thought, hang on a minute, that's not a reflector. It's a bloody light. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to get this video put together and looks like we might have an early one up tonight for a change. Uh, as for tomorrow, apart from hopefully, fingers crossed, selling at least one of the two bikes, um, I won't be doing a lot. That spider is still up on my ceiling. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.